how to apply multiple transformations to an object in Photoshop, PC or Mac, a power transform. Go to the tools panel and select the ellipse tool or any of the other shape tools, or maybe select a layer. So I'm just gonna go with ellipse tool and create an ellipse. What I can then do is I can go over here, edit and down to transform path and down here scale, I could do that, rotate and that's what I'm gonna do, so rotate and you'll see this center point. Now, if I go up here to the top left, you'll notice there's a little checkbox there. Turn that off, it will disappear. Turn that on, it's there. You want it to be there, so keep it on, and drag, just drag it in position. That's the center point for the rotation. Make certain you then put an entry for it, 15 or 30 or 40, whatever you want. And I'm gonna go with 15. So 15, and then press return. Then go to edit, and then down to transform path, and you'll notice you've got here, scale, rotate, all those settings, but you've also got a gain. That's the key thing, a gain. So I'm just gonna go, and you've got this shortcut. So use that shortcut or just go to the again each and every time. But also what you can do if you want to duplicate it, hold down the Alt or Option key. So combine that shortcut with the Alt or Option key, and then that will be duplicated. Let's go with this, and apply it multiple times all the way around and it's using that center of rotation. You can also do the same with text. So I'm just gonna go over here, type tool, horizontal type tool, select that. And I'm just gonna go with Lorem. And again, move it around, reposition it, but you can also go to edit and down to transform and you've got rotate. So rotate with that. Again, make certain this is on, that always needs to be on. And you've got this position here, so that center point and you can drag over. Now you can put the center point here, it doesn't matter, I mean, just put it here and it will rotate around that. So again, just go here for the angle and you could do anything else as well. There's horizontal, vertical, there's also scaling. Go for that as well. Let's just change it. So let's just go make it say 80. 80 and 80. And change the angle, make sure that's 15. And you can see the result actually put 79 there. Then press return again. Then you can go over here, edit, and again, transform, and again. So use the shortcut as before. And you can repeat that. And as you see this time, what happens, it rotates, but also it shrinks as well. Obviously it goes down to nothing. And you can do that multiple times in multiple different ways with different objects, smart objects, and much, much more. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.